Inter Milan 3, AC Milan 2 then is how it finishes. Uh, Gav Marcotti, what a brilliant match. Tremendous game, really had, a, uh, had everything end-to-end, -end. excitement, drama. You had uh, uh, Frank Kessie and Lucas Bigler nearly getting into a fist fight. Uh, you had that, that, that uh, on the Milan bench. Uh, you had that tremendous goal line clearance uh, from D'Ambrosio, by the way. Notice how he's clearly paranoid about handball, if you notice the way he, he jumps out with, uh, with his arms <laughs> squarely behind him. Um, it had everything, and I think most of all, it had a statement from Spalletti where on his day, he gets his tactics right, he gets the players motivated, uh, they, were, they, they were totally dejected after the Europa League and the Icardi affair and whatever else, and they go out and they get a huge, huge result. Question now is, can they build on it? Gab, so many talking points from this, but we haven't got much time. And unfortunately, the one that I want to ask you about is Kessie and Biglia, who've both come out and apologised afterwards. What on earth were they fighting about? What was all this about? Well, it's funny. Gattuso made a big deal after the game of this. He said, you know, uh, it, it hurts that we lost the game. It, it also hurt, it hurts me even more seeing two of my players getting into a fight on the bench. Apparently, all it was was... He, he, well, after the game, he brought them both out to, to explain themselves. It was like being back in school. <laughs> and Kessie said, I had so much, so much adrenaline. I was angry when I came off the pitch. Uh, I, I was fuming. Lucas Biglia, obviously a veteran, uh, told, me to, told me to calm down. I had words with him. It got out of hand. I want to apologize. So, so it ends there. And I think message to football clubs, when this kind of stuff goes on, and it will happen occasionally, just deal with it straight away. No big deal. Apologize. Move on. A significant win for Inter with regards to the race for the top four. Two points clear now of Milan. Meanwhile, Juventus lose their first league game of the season. Just 15 points now ahead of Napoli after that 2-0 <laughs> defeat against Genoa.